Hey guys, welcome to Mage Cafe. I am Abhishekar. Today we are going to discuss about Cronjab in Magento. Let's start. Before starting, we will look in short what are all the topics we are going to cover in this video. What is Cron? Why we need Cron jobs? Pre-request is to set up a Cron job in our custom module. Then Cron groups. Next we will see where the Cron schedules are stored in our database. Next we will look on to the how to disable a Cron job. Then we will wind up with what are all the commands helpful while it is Cron job in Magento. Cron is a command to operating system or a server for a job that is to be executed at a specified time. The cron job will create a command or a separate script that is appropriate with the task you want to do. Instead of manual working, the cron job will allow running automatically in the exact time and date due to its automation. Let's consider an example. If you want to send a mail at midnight 2 am, we can't keep on waiting up to 2 am and send our mail. So, if we set a cron job for a particular time and date, the cron will perform our task automatically. Next, why we need cron job in Magento 2? Many Magento feature require at least one Magento 2 cron job which schedules activities to occur in future at specific time. Like automatic updating of currency rates. For example, as you know that the currency rates are keep on fluctuating daily based on market rates. As we as a developer, we can't update currency rates to our stores or website daily. For us, the Chrome, the Chrome job will do the task. Similarly, re-indexing. While price rates are changed, we cannot keep on re-indexing manually. Like Magento emails also, it will be helpful. Generating weekly reports, monthly reports. These are all the things where we can use Chrome job. Pre-request is to set up a Chrome job in our custom module. First, we will create a custom module, then Chrome tab.xml file, then class and method of our job or script which is to be executed at a particular time, then we will create a Chrome group.xml which is optional or we can use our default or index which is provided by Magento. I hope you guys know how to create a model from our previous tutorial. So I will be starting with Chrome tab.xml file which I have in the in ATC folder of a model which I have already created. Let's start. I will check if my model is enabled or not first. You can see my model is enabled, that is custom cron in the codular namespace. Now let's create a cron tab.xml file in our etc folder of our custom cron module. The cron tab.xml file will contain a group which is belong to mention group ID. Now I will be using a index group. So name must be a unique. I am giving custom underscore test instance is the 
path of a class we are going to use pillar method with the name of a method which is to be executed I'm giving as execute only now we are done with our Now we should give a schedule. Here, group ID is the name of our Chrome group, or we can create our own custom group and give that ID over here. And instance is a instance is a class path method. It is, should be a name of a method of, of our job to be performed. And name of a Chrome job should be unique. Schedule refers with a five star notation, where you can give. First star represent minute from 0 to 59 and second star will be hours, third one will be a day of a month from 1 to 31 and fourth star will be a month 1 to 12, last one will be the day of a week from 0 to 7. I have created a class in the path which I have mentioned in the Chrome tab at XML file which contains execute function, which will be logging the date and time of the Chrome job execution into a custom log file. Let's clear a cache and decompile it. And then we'll check into the custom log file. We can see my Chrome job will be executing every minute. Now we look into the Chrome group.xml file where we have used index here, but we can use default also, which Magenta provides, or we can create our own. Let's look into a clone group.xml file. Chrome group is a logical group that allows you to easily run a clone for more than one process at a time. Most Magento models use default Chrome group and some models use index group. We can create our own custom group with our own configuration. As we can see, the clone group.xml file will be located at etc folder of our custom module. Chrome group.xml file will contain a Chrome name which is not needed to be unique and schedule generate every. It is the, is the time in minutes where the schedules are written to a database. Schedules head for. It is a time in advance the schedules are written to the Chrome schedule tab. For example, we want to perform a job at 11 a.m. If you give schedule ahead as a 10 minutes, the schedules are written to the database 10 minutes ahead of 11 a.m. Schedule lifetime. It is the window of the time where our Chrome job will be considered as a start or missed. If it doesn't start within a 
scheduled lifetime. History clean up every. It is the time in minutes where database history will be cleaned. History success lifetime. It is the time in minutes the records of successfully executed jobs kept in the database. History failure lifetime. It is the time that the record of a failed crunch jobs are kept in the database. Use separate process. Run these groups job in separate PHP process. If you give as a one, it will be considered a separate process. If you give as zero, it will be considered as the same process. As we seen, all the cron schedules are sto stored in the cron schedule table, which contains job ID and code status. It is completed success or error. At what time the schedules are created, at what time the schedules are scheduled, execution time, and at what time the schedules are finished. Now let us create our own custom Chrome group. We are creating inside etc folder Chrome underscore group. XML. The group ID will be giving it as custom for group. I do generate every beginning as a one minute schedule head or beginning as a five minute. Schedule lifetime. Get the two minutes. If it is not started within two minutes, it will be considered as missed. Very clean up every. We'll be giving it as 10 minutes. Each three success lifetime. We'll be giving it as 60 minutes. Very successful Chrome job execution records will be stored up to one hour. Time. We'll be giving, giving us 100 minutes so that we can check. Use red. process getting as one so that it can be separate process now we'll give this chrome group id to our chrome tab.xml file and check clear the cache be compiled. These are all the records 
will be stored in clone underscore schedule table of our DB. You can see which contains schedule ID, which is unique, job code, it is the name we have given in clone tablet XML file, status as a success, pending or error, and time of clone job creation, and at what time it is scheduled, and at what time it is executed at, and finished time. You can see the difference. I have given clone schedules to be scheduled for every minute. You can see every minute clones are triggered to the database. And we can also check in our custom log file. You can see a difference of every minute our logs are logged. Now we will see how to disable a cron job. Cron jobs do not have a disable feature like we have observers. But we can disable a cron job with a small technique like will giving will be giving a schedule which will never occur for example february 31 finally we'll see the commands which will be helpful in running cron job cron colon run it will run all the cron jobs present in our bundle or module also we can use if hyphen hyphen group flag to run a particular cron group like index and default. Let's see how to run our custom group. Bin slash into slash. Let's run our custom group. Group name. We have to run it twice because first one will add our jobs to the queue. Second one will actually run it. Now we can see our schedule table. Thank you. I hope you guys understood the basics of Chrome job in 